Hey guys, Grant here. Thank you so much for the amazing response uh, to our new season. Um, but the purpose of this video is to share with you some exciting new developments on a case we investigated in Albion, New York at the Pillars Estate where we were called in for help by Tony McMurtry. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tony, Hi, Tony. We had a remarkable experience at the estate. Uh, it was wonderful for us, but there was some inconsistencies that just felt a little off. And it has to do with this picture of the woman seen in the attic window. Now that picture was actually taken by an acquaintance of Tony's named Mark. And Mark still believes that it's authentic. So you were here just taking photos of the building? just for... Yeah, we were staying here all Labor Day weekend. And, um, you know, we were keeping track, you know, watching the dogs and stuff while they were away. And I was just walking around the building taking pictures. And a couple weeks later, I noticed you know, the image. So when you were taking the photo, did you actually notice anything in the window at all? No, not at all, nothing yeah. at all, nope. Yeah. I didn't notice anything like that till many weeks later. Now our time at the estate was good, uh, overwhelmingly positive and sweet. Um, so this picture just didn't fit in. It felt a little too menacing. Now we get presented evidence all the time and when we do, we try to shoot it down. We try to debunk it. And when we can't debunk it, the next step is to recreate it. And if we can't recreate it, then it's a big unknown and therefore possibly paranormal. And such is the case here at the Pillars Estate. We sent Brian and Rochelle in there to try to recreate the photo and we were able to demonstrate that it was virtually impossible for someone to get up there and recreate that photo. You can't stand in here. And in that picture, it looked like someone was coming from, like, looking from the side, and there's walls on either side. That left us without any real solid answers until now. One fan realized she had seen that face somewhere before, and that was in a meme that had been circulating the internet a couple years ago. So what we did is we overlaid these two images, and it was immediately clear that the face in the window was the exact same face as the one in this picture that was found online. So, you know, many people try to pull the wool over our eyes. They try to fool us and it happens all the time. But what they don't realize is that there are literally millions of brilliant, wonderful fans out there who scrutinize the heck out of this show. Thanks to them and the accessibility of images online like this, um, it goes such a long way towards being able to debunk things. So I can say, thanks to Chloe, who was the first to bring this to our attention, I can now say that this image is officially debunked. Now, as happy as this makes me, um, I can only imagine the relief it'll bring Tony, knowing that there isn't some menacing looking uh, apparition up in his attic. I feel great. Thank you to everyone who brought this to our attention on social media. We really appreciate that. We love that. And stay vigilant.